So if you are a substitute teacher at Southwest, PSGA Southwest Early College High School, um, what you're going to do, I'm going to show you how to create a digital hall pass for our students. So this is for students who are leaving your classroom um, under any circumstance. So um, let's get started. So you're going to go to, you can go to um, your web browser, and then you can do this on your phone, or you can do this on your laptop. Okay, just make sure you sign in to the PSJA BYOD um, or Wi-Fi. And it's no username, it's no password, it's an open network. Okay, so after you have successfully signed in with your device, go ahead and go to smartpass.app. Okay, so smartpass.app. Find the sign in option. And then what you're going to do is you're going to enter the username and password that our front office staff has given you. So I'll just use one for now. I'll just use sub2 at pcic.us and we have multiple different accounts. So just check with your the front office to see if you did not get one. They would have also given you the password as well. So sign in using the password. And here is the interface. Here's the home page. So student one comes to you and wants to go to the restroom. So what you're going to do is you're going to select create pass. So you're going to go now. You're going to type the name of the student. <clears throat> or you can type by student ID or you can type by their email address. So I have a demo student. So I'm going to search for demo student one. This student needs to go to the restroom. So then I select next. And then what room are they coming from? So I select the room that I'm currently substitute teaching in. So let's just do my room. So you can either do the room number, type the room number, or type the name of the teacher. Okay, and then where are they going to? Okay, so they want to go to the restroom. So you're going to type whatever restroom there whatever hallway you're at so you're going to go if you're upstairs l hall so upstairs l hall so they you want to take them send them to the upstairs l hall restroom okay if you are downstairs l hall you're going to type downstairs l hall and so forth and so forth so my classroom is upstairs l hall so i'm going to go upstairs l hall all right as you can see there are currently two students in the room in that restroom right now so just be cognizant of that all right it should take them no longer than eight minutes you're going to send the pass to that student all right so as you can see the pass is already started so you tell the student they can go all right as you can see i'm going to switch and this is the student account they can see that the pass they have been cleared to go to the restroom so they have eight minutes to go and come back now if a student is has exceeded the eight minutes, all you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and click on these dots and you're going to report the student. That's it. Okay, once you report the student, that lets the security guards know. Um, and that also lets our administration know that this student is skip, skipping. So if I go report, I can add student skipping. Skipping and then select report student. But they're not skipping right now. They still have, I believe, seven minutes left, as you can see right here. So these are the active passes. These are your expired passes. These are your active passes. Once the student comes back, you can go ahead and end that pass and let another student go to the restroom. Okay? The student can also end their pass as well. So just make sure you tell them to leave their cell phone here. All right? So let's just go ahead and end this pass. The student is back. We're going to go ahead and end the pass. Let's do another one. So a student needs to go to the main office. I'm going to go ahead and select now. We'll type the name, the name of the student with the ID, with the ID number. So like I can also do ID number as well. And then their name pops up. All right. So demo student one. Click next. Where are they coming from? So name, type the name of the teacher that you're subbing with. So we'll do my name. And then where do you are they going? So you're going to type main office. All right, so once you select main office, it's a one-way trip. I'm going to go ahead and send the pass. 
Okay. And as you can see, the pass is started. The student can go and is cleared to go in the hallways. Again, this is the count of the student as well. You can see how many passes they used today. You can see how many passes they used this week. And you can see how many passes they used this month. Also right here as well. So just be aware of that as well. All right. Same thing. Student comes back to class. Go ahead and end the pass. All right. Hall monitor. You can see how many students <clears throat> are in the hallway at this moment in time. Expiring means the pass has started eight minutes ago. So this student is should be in the go center. What should have happened is that student should have ended the pass or the go center staff should have ended the pass. Um, we're still working. Excuse me. We're still working on that. Um, we still need to practice that. Well, I'll, I'll just let this these users know that. OK, um, if you have any questions, please email me at Aaron.Whitelaw at PSJAISD dot U.S.